Android 8 here, so I'm going to bring you a tip on how to collect massive supplies and fill up a bin as fastly as possible. Okay, it's, it, this is basically just working on collecting regular the re regular resources. There's other ways to uh, get rid of that stuff. There's other ways that you can increase the amount of resources you are gathering outside, anyways. But the way the first thing you want to do at first is you want to empty. You want to choose a dinosaur that you're going to be riding. So, like say, I want to collect wood, so I'm going to grab a mammoth. Or if I want to, you know, collect thatch i'm gonna collect, grab my trike if i want to uh, collect berries you can use you know it's more efficient to use one of those or a stego or you know even a parasaur this even works on a parasaur uh scratch that it doesn't work on a parasaur because basically when you get off a parasaur it jumps you to the right however on trikes you get off and you can stand on it mammoths you can get on it and you can stand it so if you can ride it and you basically as you get up you just stand up it will work. Uh, this trick will work for that dino. So the first things first, I want to collect enough wood to fill this bin. That means I'm going to need 30 stacks uh, uh, to fill that bin. Uh, I'm going to take everything off of my dino. Okay, like I've already done. And basically, I'm not going to worry about it starving or anything like that. Because as I'm collecting my resources, it's going to collect berries for it to eat as well. So I don't need to carry any berries on it. Uh, I've also decreased the amount of weight that I have basically to one water jar uh, and you don't even need the water jar and the reason being is I could put this up if I get thirsty out there as the dino is collecting uh, resources I can quickly eat the berries and it will give me water and food as you can see I am I'm almost there I'm like you know like about to starve and get dehydrated so the first thing is first what we want to do is we want to collect the resources now, in order for this trick to work, what I need to do is I need to have a tether dinosaur. Okay, and the way I'm going to tether it is I'm going to take this dinosaur. And I'm going to scroll in using the mouse key. Okay, and then I'm going to hit T. Alright, so now my mammoth is following this trike. And basically, I'm going to leave this trike here. So that my mammoth is tethered to the base. Okay. I'm going to get on my, my mammoth, and I'm going to roll out here. <laughs> Take a few seconds here, and basically, we're just going to knock down every tree in sight. As you can see, I'm dehydrating. But I have a few, I have a few minutes before I actually fall out. And this will allow the, uh, my mammoth to collect up. You know the resources that I'm gonna need. All right, quickly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on my hotbar key. Eight, nine, well, zero, nine, and what's it called? And eight. And basically, what I'm doing is I'm gonna hold down the eight key. As you can see, I just quickly eat all these. I'm holding down nine, and now I'm holding down zero. And as you can see, I'm just quickly eating all the berries. It's just really quick. Okay, and I'm going to take these off my hotbar because I don't want that to uh, uh, automatically stack um, when I'm in the dinosaur screen and I'm pulling stuff and accidentally, you know, automatic stack. So I'm only concerned with wood here, and I only want to gather the wood, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything that's, n that's not wood. That way I can increase the amount of resources that I'm gathering. Let's see, get rid of this stuff. Basically, all I'm doing is, is I'm mousing over, so as you can see my little cursor here, I'm picking, taking my cursor and I'm putting it over an item that I don't want. And then I'm hitting the O key. The O key allows me to just drop it without having to select and then basically drop, well, I don't want to drop all items, uh, drop item. You know, touch it, drop item, touch it, drop item. You know, that's so much slower. When you can just do this. So now I only got wood, as you can see. And as you can look at the, my right bar, my food and water meter is up. I don't even have to worry about, you know, starving to death. And I'm uh, over encumbered again. My dino is over encumbered again. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to drop these items again.
drop, and my weight now is at 634. What I want to do is, I want to basically uh, fill the dinosaur up with as much weight as I can on wood. Okay. Uh, getting rid of everything else. Let's get rid of this stuff. All right, I'm at 707. I want to try to find trees that are together that I can like multi-hit. That way I can maximize the amount of wood that I'm going to get in a swing. And as you can see, I'm at 862 and he leveled up. I'm going to I'm a I'm going to forego the leveling up cuz I'm going I want to level up the weight uh, on the dino. But, you know, that'll just make the video last that much longer. So I'm at 804. You see my dinosaur can barely move, right? He's like, just like, inching. Inching towards that wood over there. Uh, and that's because he's over encumbered. I wonder if I can hit this tree. From here. Boom. Okay, so he hits it. And ideally what I want to do is, I want to see if I can basically max out his weight just in wood. Okay, so he's at 842. You see, with this much wood, I basically got to have half a bin of wood in one outing. Okay, and I am over my maximum weight allowance. So now my dinosaur cannot move. If I try to move, he will not even move. Nope, uh-uh, I'm not moving. So, how this trick works is, basically you go into your dinosaur's inventory, and I can carry 200 pounds. So, that's 100, that's 200. But I can also carry an additional 100, I mean 200 pounds, because I can carry 200 pounds, all right? Now, I, even though I'm putting the, putting the weight on my character, the dinosaur cannot still move because its weight has not changed. It is still at 842 because I am riding the dinosaur. However, if I get up, since I don't jump off the dinosaur, my dinosaur is tethered to the trike. As soon as I get off this dinosaur, my weight is you know, subtracted from this cup from a mammoth, and the mammoth will automatically want to ride back to base. So, as you can see, he rides back to base as long as he doesn't get stuck. And as long as you don't move on your dinosaur, you'll surf your dinosaur all the way back to base. Boom. Okay, so I'm back at base. And I just transfer all items back, and I just take off, uh, you know, that's 170. So now I'm encumbered a bit, but I can still move. And as you can see, I'm back at base. The short, quick walk uh, up to my storage bin, transfer these items, run back to my, uh, my mammoth, jump on, move them up. To where I need. And just basically take as much as you can. And like since since the box is so close, I can just basically do this. Or what you do is you just take as much weight as you can move all at one shot. And we go out and do it again. And then in this next pass. I should be able to uh, fill up that box all in that short period of time. Let me run down here. I'm just tearing up this forest. See that right there would have been a good spot to 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 end your you know your maximum weight right there. All right, so again, let's do the procedure again, getting rid of all the berries and all the stuff that we don't want. 
By the way, this also helps your dinosaur ga gain uh, a lot of experience uh, by gathering stuff. You know, your dinosaur will gain experience by killing and also working. Uh... All right. Now you can increase the amount of wood collected all all at one shot just by crafting like I said earlier uh, while you're on the dinosaur because basically 100 wood equals 50 pounds so 80 wood equals 40 pounds now I can make I can craft like a ceiling or a ceiling I think takes 80 wood or let me see what something that takes 80 wood like a wooden foundation or something like that wood wooden foundation so that's 40 pounds that's gonna it's gonna take 40 pounds of wood and 20 pounds you know the 20 thatch whatever that weighs and the 15 fiber whatever that weighs a bit like a pound or something like that uh yeah i don't know what how much 20 uh 20 thatch uh wood weigh let's find out you know point four it's negligible but Basically, it'll take 40 pounds of wood and turn it into four pounds of structure. Uh, so that will, you know, while you're while you're on your dinosaur, you can craft that and then increase the amount of resources you're gathering all while you're out just by crafting. But we're just concerned about getting wood back at base. You know, we, we want to use it for our fires or uh, crafting other things without having to worry about, uh, you know, crafting. But crafting on your dinosaur does help you maximize your time. Uh, while you're on your dinosaur uh, Let's see let's get up here grab these the woods And just turn around here and grab this and basically what you want to try to do also is try to make sure that You know your dinosaur has an un unobstructed route back home Because if he gets hung up then you're gonna end up having to drop some items, you know and that just basically, you know, negates on what you're trying to do. All right, 600, 700. So let's go over to these trees over here <laughs> and grab those three trees all at one swipe. You know, when it's raining also like this, it also helps you to stay hydrated as well. So, it's not three trees, it's four trees. So, let's get them. Oh, I didn't guess I'm not getting that one. No, I'm not getting it. Okay. Too far. Uh, let's get rid of that. I'm at 875 weight. As you can see. So again, I'm going to take my 200 pounds that I can carry. Plus the extra 200 pounds. Right? I'm going to try to carry as much weight as I can. And uh, basically, lightening the dinosaur as soon as I get up. That way he'll move a lot faster. Well, hopefully he doesn't get stuck on these, on these trees. He will path a bit, you see. And basically I transfer back uh, all this wood. Nope, I don't want to drop it. I want to transfer. Transfer all items, yes. Okay, and I want to take uh, that much wood. Can I keep moving? Oh, oh yeah. All right. Transfer all items. Jump on him. Move him up. Take all items. Transfer all items.
Take all items. Transfer all items. And as you can see, the box is completely filled up. All within that short amount of time. I've got a complete box, you know, in less than like, you know, 30 minutes, you know, like 15 minutes or whatever, however long it took to do that. You know, it'd be a lot shorter without having to explain all this stuff uh, in the video. But yeah, I mean, I've gotten that much wood in two shots and two goes and you know it might take you longer depending on what your the the you know the statistics on your dinosaur you know whatever dinosaur that you're using you know so i got 844 weights on my mammoth you know and mammoths can easily have 500 pounds of weight when you when you go get them um and i like to i like to boost up my uh, trike so you you want to like a dinosaur that you can use as a workhorse and workhorse dinosaurs will help you level up for, faster. Uh, attacking and killing dinosaurs is all uh, is all fun, but if you want to uh, have a lot more fun, you know you'll work on that kind of stuff there. Get up your get up your uh, levels, and then you'll be able to take on the big stuff. Uh, all right, guys. So that's all I have on that, and uh, you know I'll, I'll bring you some more tips later on. Have a good one.